you were at an event um, commonly known as the Super Bowl. Oh. Correct? I hope so. Okay, very good. Yeah. Um, you were at the Super Bowl, is another yes. way for me to just say. The most recent one in Las Vegas, Nevada. Yes, indeed. Because uh, you are a fan of the... Um, I, I'm a fan of the Chiefs. Yes, indeed. Um, important to note, Prima Homes. Yes. Just so I'm not right. one of those Brits who came over and chose the best team. <laughs> yeah. uh, which is, again, uh, probably a controversial thing to say. Sorry, folks. No, it's, it's quite all right. It's uh, quite all right. Speaking of the best team as well, I uh, had a wonderful time because Apple very generously invited me to the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. And Apple being where Apple is, yes. obviously 49ers fans. Mm -hmm. um, and they felt so poorly for me. And I think also we went in being the underdogs for that as well. Which is crazy, by the way. Yeah. Crazy. I mean, it, it, it's it's not how many people thought the Chiefs were not going to flip a switch and things of that nature. Yeah. And, and to be honest, up until half time, there was some concerns. Yes, indeed. Uh, but Apple felt so bad for me, they actually had one of their guys support the Chiefs with me and Natalie. And they said, yeah, you know, you know yeah, yeah, you, you jump in there and, and just make them feel comfortable. What is designated consoler? Is that what you're uh, saying? Anyway, this, this, this gentleman, he was, uh, he had supported Chiefs in the past and, okay. and he wasn't really sort of in one camp or the other. And so he said, yeah, yeah, you know, I'll go for it. I'm, I'm, I'm always about the underdogs and about the franchise and let's, <laughs> let's do it. And so, Everyone was quite vocal to begin with, mm -hmm. especially sort of in the Apple box and and, and being very pro not Chiefs. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, okay, yeah, let's let's step up and let's be just as vocal back. Of course, I didn't get the memo that I should be less vocal when we started smashing them in the second half. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so hopefully one day I will be invited back. <laughs> well, the chances are low. Because it, it, it's it, all bets are off, though, right? It's when you're Super Bowl. exactly, yeah. It, yeah. yeah. It, no, it was all, all in good spirit. All in good spirit. Great. Like, sort of, there was there was some some good natured ribbing going. Yeah, on. Yeah, I know. When you're out here on the on the on the left coast, you, you look at your you look at your phone, and it's Cupertino time that's on your phone. So clearly, we're we're well aware of where their allegiances might exactly. lie geographically and yeah. and emotionally as well. But, I mean, just rooting for Patrick Mahomes has got to be one of the greatest things of all time, just seeing this guy I mean, do his he thing. he always seems to provide. It's a great thing. It is unbelievable. Yeah. Every single time, it seems. And so, um, just to remind uh, everyone again, why the Chiefs? What what, uh, what turned you on to the Chiefs to begin with? So, uh, being over here, wanting to get into football, mm -hmm. learning that I could actually enjoy the game, because initially I thought it's just a bad version of rugby. <laughs> And what? then I realized it, it's human chess, essentially. It's, it's, not, it's nothing like rugby. Right. And, and I. Well, the play that the Eagles run on the goal line is, <laughs> is basically rugby. The right. brotherly shove. That's, <laughs> now that's rugby. Right. But outside of that, yes, indeed. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I, I had to pick a team, and I thought, well, what's, what's going to be a constant in my life? What's going to be one thing which will always be. Uh, I'll always have connected to, mm -hmm. always have connection to in one way or another. And it was clearly Superman. And I thought, great. Uh, now who would Superman support? And even though the Chiefs, I, I often hear this, they say, but they're not in Kansas. And they kind of are. They're not, right. but they are. Right. Um, and that's who Clark would have supported. And I figured, it's ideal. I'll, I'll stick with the Chiefs. And then they started winning. Yeah. The so. Kansas City fandom does not stop at the Missouri-Kansas exactly. border. It does spill over to exactly. the other side. Yeah. So that's truly... It's not a hard wall. That's truly <laughs> the one that... That's, that's, and so... Yeah. So what year was this right around the time? Um, where, okay. So it was the year where we lost to the Steelers in the playoffs because I was there. Okay. And... That was a cold, um, that was a cold night, wasn't it? The, the, where there was like a delay. The game was delayed a little bit too. I or the start of the so. day. It was supposed yeah. to be a day game and then it did have yeah. it at night because it was too damn... Like yeah, there's something I, going on with the I think the that weather. was Mahomes' first game on because their first string was out with an injury, mm -hmm. I believe. Right. And um, I think anyway. Okay. Uh, I don't really remember. It was quite quite the spectacle. Okay. As a Brit going over there, being down on the sidelines and everything. In and Arrowhead. Like just, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it is as loud as they say. It, I, no, <laughs> I'll tell you what. The first time I'd ever been to a game at Arrowhead... Um, it was Thanksgiving night in 2006. It was the first ever th right. Thanksgiving thir th uh, Thursday night uh, evening game. Mm -hmm. NFL Network had it, and I'd never been to a game in Kansas City. And uh, my my colleagues, Steve Mariucci, longtime coach in the league, goes, listen, when they do the national anthem, and instead of home of the brave, and they say Chiefs, 
it's going to be the loudest word you've ever heard said. <laughs> and I'm like, it's true. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. And it was the loudest word I've ever heard said. And it was, yeah. it just it came out of like a void, right? Because mm -hmm. everyone is just politely waiting. singing and being quiet. <laughs> yeah. and when, waiting. Yes, yeah. indeed. You're, you're not wrong. It, yeah. it truly is a special experience. Yeah. I loved it. I loved it. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm a I'm a big old Chiefs fan. And then Mahomes gets drafted. No, they just, they're a dynasty. They're yeah. totally dynastic. Yeah, so that's the 2016 wild card. That was it. Uh, yeah, I lost at home to Pittsburgh. Okay. So the year before Mahomes was even drafted. There you so. go. Okay. So the year before. So, yeah, you, you were at an you're, Alex you're Smith game. You were in early. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You were there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh! You were in early, so you're not, was. you're not. Yeah, I'm you're not, not one of those fair weather. No, yeah, not at all. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free.